Up ahead, you'll see the nice view of the Mississippi River that the modern-day temple overlooks. Nauvoo is a four-and-a-half-hour drive southwest of Chicago and a three-hour drive north of St. Louis. The place today known as Nauvoo was founded in the early 19th century. So far, this is the smallest town that I filmed for this channel, and it has a long history, and today it is a popular tourist town for history lovers and certain religious groups. Let's get to it, shall we? I start the video several miles south of Nauvoo because this was a really nice drive along the river. And now that we are in Nauvoo, I can start talking about it. The first name of the town was Commerce and it was founded in the late 1820s. The town was bought by members of the Church of Latter-day Saints in 1839 and renamed the town of Commerce to Nauvoo. And the name comes from the Hebrew language in the Bible. The Mormons settled here to escape the Missouri government at the time. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight.
Where we are currently is on land that is level with the Mississippi River and it can flood on this land quite often. This is also where the original town was before it was abandoned and we'll get more into that later. Up ahead is a hill where the actual town is today and it's also where the town's 1,100 residents live. This is the Nauvoo, Illinois Temple, which is a part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Before the Mormons left for the Salt Lake City area, Nauvoo was a gathering place for members of the religion. Joseph Smith was the leader that led the Mormons to Nauvoo, and after he died it was then Brigham Young who then led them to Utah. There's actually a historic trail known as the Mormon Trail that began here in Nauvoo and extended 1,300 miles west to Salt Lake City. Anyway, around the time that Young led the Mormons west in the late 1840s, that's when Nauvoo was basically abandoned. Only a fraction of the people stayed as most of the town was made up of Mormons. The remaining town residents were made up of mostly Roman Catholics and Christians. Most of the tourists that visit Nauvoo are people that are interested in learning the history about the Church of Latter-day Saints. The shops in the downtown area that we just drove through reflect that. The reason why Nauvoo is able to be a tourist destination today is mostly credited to J. Leroy Kimball as he came back to Nauvoo in 1954 to restore the town. Up ahead you'll see the nice view of the Mississippi River that the modern day temple overlooks.
Most of the old town is gone, but there are several buildings that have been preserved including Joseph Smith's house and Brigham Young's house. On the right here is the Nauvoo Cultural Hall. During non-pandemic times, you can schedule a wagon tour of the old town. In order on the right is the tin shop, post office, and printing office, and on the left is the gunsmith shop. If you were to turn right here, one block over is the Brigham Young House. On the left here is the Joseph and Emma Smith House. This is the Visitor Center, which is a good place to check out during non-pandemic times. All of this low-lying land where the old town once stood is currently owned by the Community of Christ.
Well, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. We'll see you next time. Peace!